Hello everybody, you join me in the Merton Common Room. It's Monday the 1st of September and we've had our first inset day back in school today. The teachers are back, the boarding staff are back, the domestic staff are back, the estate staff are back, all getting school ready for the start of term. I know that many of you have been waiting to see what the new boarding houses are like after our big announcements at the end of term. And the builders are still in school today, finishing off the boarding houses. Um, we've got 24 hours to get them finished, but we're very confident it's going to happen. And we can't wait to see the children back tomorrow night or on Thursday morning. So this message is from Merton Common Room. So Merton is the boys' house. Um, so if I pan my... You see, I've got some wet paint on my hands, actually, from the door that's still... The paint is literally still drying. But this is the Merton Common Room. Uh, at one point, this was the head sitting room, actually. Um, so this is the common room for the, the boys in years six to eight. You can see it's a very, very homely space and something we're very excited about. We've uh, made a, a large number of investments during the summer, as uh, you will be aware. And those investments are in the boarding houses, that's the girls' houses and the boys' houses. We've also made investments in the roof work. We're rebuilding the main chimney on the house. We've extended the kitchens in the school as well. Uh, we've got new middle school play, uh, playground markings that have been put down. Uh, with still some more to go. Um, big investments in tennis. So there's been a lot of investments all the way through the school. And I have to say the place is looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, coming now into Keddington, which is the biggest of our, our dormitories. There's still a lot of work to do, um, putting beds together and, and duvets on beds and so on. Um, but what a place to, to spend your time being educated. So we're moving through from Keddington, uh, through the gallery, above the inner hall, into Laundry Square. Now Laundry Square itself has had a very large makeover and I'll come back to that in a second. But before we go into the laundry square, we'll just see the new boys' shower rooms. Um, so the boys will remember these as the washrooms. We've still got new doors to go on the new showers tomorrow. Uh, they, they don't have the right doors, but they're being fitted tomorrow before the borders come back. Um, so hopefully you can get a sense there of the new boys' shower rooms. And on the other side, we have, again, more new showers with the correct doors being fitted tomorrow. So they, the children will have privacy while they're here. Um, we're now into Laundry Square, which has had a complete makeover. So Laundry Square is now forming part of, uh, it's now the matron's room as well as Laundry Square, uh, fully decorated. Uh, so some uh, developments here so the matrons can work and some nice seating space as well. And then we go through um, to the new boys' sick bay which is through here, so this is a brand new room. We found this um, slightly ancient fireplace when we were doing the work. Um, still some work to do here, we need, we need a door handle on here. This is the, uh, the ensuite um, room for the, the sick bay. There's still a bath panel to go on there as well, but that's looking fantastic. Oh, hello, Mrs. Eastdale, fancy seeing you here. What a surprise. <laughs> So Mrs. Eastdale's here just outside her new surgery, which you can see just behind me. That was the matron's room. Mrs. Eastdale, do you want to say anything about the new boarding houses? Um, I'm very excited to welcome all the children back as soon as possible. It's, we put a huge amount of work in and it's going to be fantastic. Um, I think everyone's going to love the new facilities and we're going to have a lot of fun, I think. Fun Probably. is the name of the Come game. Come and see Lodge. So Mrs. Eastdale will take us through to Lodge House. So Lodge House is the new girls' boarding house, the new senior girls' boarding house. This is for years six to eight. Although with COVID, we're making some slight adjustments uh, to spare a house for the term, but we'll worry about that okay. later. Um, so, Lodge. So, this is the girls' common room, which I think um, will buzz with laughter and um, games and excitement. Uh, when the girls come up after they have done their evening activity. Uh, we're going to have snack up here in the evenings um, and play games. There's lots of new books. The friends kindly bought uh, a whole lot of new books for all the boarding houses. So have we still got the curtains going up or have we ditched the curtains? We've ditched the curtains. We've ditched the curtains. There we they're, are. Blind, <laughs> they're blinds, pretty blinds. <laughs> and then we'll go through to Sick Bay and one of the dormitories. So... We have lovely girls sick bay here with a bathroom across the um, way and then into a new dormitory. Uh, I've brought the old name Winnie Even Warner across and um, the young Sparrow girls are going to sleep in here when they come back uh, to 
tomorrow night. Which looks over the front of the school. Seems rather nice. And then going on to the bit that the girls I know are going to love most of all, and that is the fantastic new showers. I know many of them are very jealous of um, Sparrow's facilities. Um, and here we now have can they can see a that? bathroom yeah. that they will be happy with, hopefully. Now again, new shower doors will be going on here tomorrow, but it's a lovely space with lots of privacy for the girls. And then what was the old um, space into, uh, again, more basins, mirrors, loos. Uh, lots of room to get ready for all those balls and uh, parties that we do at the weekends. And then Oribe and Carbonell have been turned into dormitories for uh, the year seven and eight, six, seven and eight girls. And hopefully we've put a few things up to start, but it will be full of all your lovely posters and um, photographs and everything that you all bring back with you. So imagine it with all your duvet covers and your own stuff. So we've had 10 weeks of work going on at the school. Um, almost every member of staff who lives at the school has, has moved uh, within the school. Um, I've mentioned the extension of the kitchens, the playground markings in middle school. New boys' change rooms have been built as well, so they're ready to go for the boys. Um, the girls' change rooms have been completely redecorated. Um, there's been more work at this, over this 10-week period than we've probably seen in the last 15 years. Um, and we're really proud of it, very excited. Um, this is just a whistle-stop, fly-on-the-wall wall tour, which um, might be surprising given the high quality of the production value. Um, so you can see we've got a new call system, which you might be interested in. I know often I get asked about how do children call um, a, a matron or me at night. Uh, this is a new system that's gone in uh, across all the dormitories with a camera that can mean that we can liaise with them easily and come and to them quickly. So that's a really good new Sorry, I showed you my painted hand again then, uh, from one of these doors actually. Um, anyway, we look forward to seeing everybody back very, very soon. Um, thank you for bearing with us while we've put this um, rather massive project together, but we're really excited. We've got a boarding facility that's fit for the 21st century. We know the children are going to absolutely love it. And um, we know that when they phone you on the first nights back in school on th Thursday evening, um, they're going to be sharing their excitement with you. So we look forward to seeing you all soon. So as Mrs. Easton and I finished the last film, we realised that we hadn't taken any footage of Sparrow House. And of course, we do have, uh, with record numbers of children joining this year, we have a lot of new children joining into Sparrow year groups as well. So this is the Sparrow House. This is the junior boarding house, which is for years three, four and five. This is the, the common room. And actually what we've tried to achieve in Lodge and Merton, in many respects, is a recreation of the homeliness and um, cuddliness and warmth of Sparrow House. So this is Sparrow House, the junior boarding house. Um, this is for boys and girls. There is a wing for the girls, which is on this side. You can just see with the, uh, the teddy bear that's there. Um, and then the, the corridor with, with various dormitories and bathrooms and so on. Um, actually, because of COVID, we're, we're slightly changing the usage of Sparrow House this term for social distancing reasons. So actually, it's just going to be for the boys at the moment, with the girls being in, in lodge in their own dormitory with the, the senior girls, which they'll love. Um, and on this side, then, we have the boys, what we would normally call the boys' side. Um, if I go into Joan Clifton, which is one of the dorms, you can get a sense of, of what the dormitories look like in Sparrow House. And again, just looking out of the window, hopefully they're clean. Um, the window cleaners are coming in tomorrow, but you can just get a sense of, you know, the kind of environment these children are, are having their, their boarding and schooling experience more broadly. So, there, that's the boarding houses. Um, parents, you'll get to them ASAP, we promise. We do want to, we want to show them off to you, um, but we look forward to seeing the children on Thursday and Thursday night, and then they will be phoning you on Thursday night with lots and lots of positive comments and lots of excitement, I'm sure. See you soon. Bye.